Hey guys, this is Jason. How's everything going? In this video, I'm going to uh, solve another problem on bfe.dev, implement curry with a placeholder. I think I've solved this before. It's the okay. It's the second problem on bfe. The b big frontend.dev actually has about 100 uh, problems focusing on frontend. So if you're interested, you can have a try. Okay, today it's about second one. This is follow up on the first one. I've already submitted it, and uh, I can retrieve the last submission. Okay, and uh, we're asked to implement a query which support placeholder. Different from that la last one, we can pass in a placeholder, which is the underscore here. The placeholder is uh, on the query function, and if we call it like this, and then uh, call, uh, pass one and three again, and one will be placed at uh, here, right? So it's the same as the first call, one, two, three. And for the extreme here, extreme case here, uh, we set three placeholders and then pass one, so one would place at the first. And then placeholder again, this placeholder will be placed here. And got three, three will be placed here. And we pass two, two. Okay, so this is still the same as one, two, three. So let's begin. The placeholder is already set for us. It's a symbol, and uh, allow me to just uh, copy the uh, the basic logic from the uh, basic basic problem. So let's recall what we did last time. So the general idea is that uh, uh, this curry will return a, a curry function. This function will accept arbitrary amount of arguments, and if if the arguments are enough for the func, we just trigger it, right? If not enough, we return a bind a bound function, which will uh, put the uh, args at the beginning of the next function call. So if we call one two, and this one will be bound to this function, and when we call this bound function with three, actually this query will be passed with one two and a new three. So this will be uh, checked again and uh, uh, generates the right result. So our problem now becomes that what we, if we have a placeholder? So if we have a placeholder, the arcs length uh, uh, more than the func dot length, bigger, larger or equal to func dot length, it doesn't work anymore, right? So we need to filter out. Need to filter out the placeholder, right? Suppose we have a, uh, an arguments array like. Uh, placeholder, 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 and one and two, and this func, suppose it's joined here, we actually expect three three arguments, and these three arguments, the, we need to the, we need the top three arguments, right? First three arguments to be non-placeholder. So, yeah. Let me, uh, okay, so let's create a flag, say is uh, args enough equals what? First, the length itself is much bigger than Okay, I'll create a new one. Say expected arc nth count. Nth, okay, i use nth. Uh, it's func dot nth. Okay, if itself must be enough, and then, and then args will slice it. Zero to expected argument nth. Uh huh, this is the, we get the top first three, and then, we need to uh, we need to make sure that none of them are um, placeholder, right? So and uh, all item item is not okay. Wait a minute. I just say R. Okay, R is not all of them are not none of them is uh, placeholder, right? So let's play placeholder here. So we got these arcs enough or not. If it is enough, it means then the, okay, this, right? If this, if we have enough arcs, we just call the function. So it's okay. And now, if it is not enough, we need to bind, do the same actually, right? Bind the function. But here's the problem. Actually, we're not going to bind, uh, uh, bind it uh, based on the orders. Like we have like, uh, like this. For the first call, 
and then we got uh, another call like one, uh, three or something like this if we bind, bind it we just uh, if we bind we will get something like this right because okay it'd be the new arcs will be uh, put at the uh, at the rare and you see this is not right we, what we want actually so this is not good what we want we want uh, three um, this is placeholder placeholder one two right so this this is not contact concatenation it's replacement so actually we uh, need to merge uh, two arcs right yeah so not bound not, not bind we return new function return a new function this function will accept arbitrary amount of arcs we call it new arcs okay I'll say we need to merge these two arcs uh, based on the orders right yeah so how can we merge it we just uh, think of this like uh, two arrays right we just uh, start at the beginning to check if this is placeholder then if this is not placeholder and then we just put it right or if it is placeholder we can replace it it's, the placeholder is the same right okay I'll create a uh, Merge the two arcs, a new arcs, and the arcs, right? Cool. We after we merge it, this is the new arcs, and then we just to call the curry, right? Because we have to call it, and it's the 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 logic uh, of handling the the, uh, the placeholder will be it down here. So yeah. Our new arcs, okay. Um, how can I do it? Um, if I modify the the arcs, I, I I could I shouldn't modify the arcs, so I need to create a new one. Okay, I'll create a new one. Uh, final arcs, I would say. Okay. Um. If now I'll check the head, okay, which means hmm, I'll create a new, I'll use a two pointers like i equals zero, like j equals zero. i is for the old args, j is for the new args. Uh -huh. So if I'll just say while. Uh, this stops at uh, this stops when uh, one of the arcs is already tra all traversed. So i smarter than um, arcs to then j smarter than new arcs to then to do some leftovers. Okay, so if the uh, first one is a uh, um, placeholder, I could just uh, take the second one, right? T a second, uh, take the uh, the new arc. So if the arc i, it is curry placeholder. I'll say final arc will push um, new arc dot j. Yeah, and uh, after we pick it, and then we will move on to the next one, right? So I plus one, J plus one. If it is not, if not, we will I will move to the next one, right? Suppose like one here, so we go if it is one, and three, we will check the next one if it is placeholder, and we'll put three there. So yeah, this is this is cool, this is right, and then. Okay, oh no, wait a minute. I plus one, I need to push the I in it, right? Yeah. This is R I. Cool. So now it will stop at here. And for the rest, do we need 
do we need need them? Well, sure, I think. Um, this might be not enough, and this might be not. Uh, this uh, the arcs might be shorter, and the new arcs also might be shorter. I'll just put them all in it. I think. Uh huh. So when there is some leftovers, I just use a while loop. Say while arc i small or some uh, checking the args. Okay, i plus one. I put it into the uh, final arc arcs. Uh, push args i. But there might be too many the arguments, right? If something like this, actually we don't need them. We only need the top uh, expected arcs then. So I'll add an, another restriction here. And uh, final args .net is smaller than this, right? Cool. And we will do the same for um, the J. Push, this is new args. Dot J. Uh-huh. And J plus one. So we merge. This is the new. Wait a minute. So this is the final args. So what we do? We just uh I think we just call the curry function, right? So now we merge these two arguments like like this and then pass it to curry, right? Yeah. I think that's it. So we will just return the the curry. Can I say curry mm -hmm. final arcs? Yeah, if uh, so, for this, surely we it didn't satisfy our requ uh, need for enough arguments, right? So it will return a new function, which will took this as an arcs and then accept the new arcs. If we pass a, like uh, two, three, four, two numbers, this will be merged to three, three, four, and these arcs will be passed to a curry, and uh, yeah, the final result will be generated. I think it should be cool. <coughs> Something wrong. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, slice all is not a function. Ah, oh, it's not all. I'm sorry, it's every, right? Hmm. Undefined except. Wait a minute. Well, what I did wrong. Wait a minute. Um. Huh? Allow me to. Final. Hmm. Let's review the code again. Okay. Uh, this is the expected uh, arcs arguments. Hmm. Is arguments enough? It means itself is enough. Uh huh. And then we slice. This is if it is three, then it's zero, one, two. So it is good. So every one, it's not every argument. It is not placeholder. Then this is enough. So if it is, oh, <gasps> I'm so sorry. I made a mistake here. Still wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay, if it. Argument is enough. We call it. Yeah. If not, we return a new new function. We get a new args. We merge them together into one. So we set two pointers. While uh, both of them are not done, if we check if the first one is placeholder. Even though the second one is placeholder, we need to put them there, right? So we put new arcs J there. We move them both forward, like here. Mm -hmm. And then, if it is not a placeholder, curry placeholder, placeholder. And then we just uh, put itself in and move I to the next one, right? So they will stop when one of them is traversed. And then if we, if uh, R, ooh, shit. 
um, new args. I think there's a mistake here. <gasps> Still wrong. What? Okay. We push JN. If, uh, ah, God, I know what happened. The actually the final arcs there might be st there there is might be s uh, placeholders so this actually doesn't doesn't mean anything. I should not put it there. Huh? <gasps> okay, this is the final arcs. Mm -hmm. This will be. <laughs> wow, there's so many errors, uh, so many uh, mistakes. Oh, great! <laughs> yeah, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Yeah, uh, I need to use the is the a uh, spread operators here. Okay, allow me to enjoy the the uh, success dialogue here. Great. Allow me to submit it, and uh, yeah, maybe I should post it. Cool. Okay. So this is it. Hope it helps. Uh, I will already po post my uh, uh, solution here. Hope it helps. I'll see you next time.